Hi, this is Sean Michaels at American Micro Semiconductor discussing with you today a product that's extremely popular with us. It is our germanium diodes. It basically consists of three basic products, the 1N34A, the 1N60, and the 1N270. The 1N270 is our demonstration today. What I've set up here is a test between a germanium diode as well as a basic silicon diode. The advantages of the germanium diode over the silicon diode is that a germanium diode has an extremely low forward voltage drop. The voltage drop on a standard silicon device is about 7 tenths of a volt. The forward voltage drop on a germanium device is about 3 tenths of a volt. Now this is all assuming that we have no forward current or that the forward current is assumed to be zero. However, once we apply a forward current to the device, your forward voltage drops will increase. However, we're starting at 7 tenths of a volt versus 3 tenths of a volt. So when you're looking to rectify a current and are an extremely concerned about forward voltage drop, germanium diodes are an excellent source for that solution to the problem. Now here I have on this side set up a 1N38, sorry, 1N3285. On this side I've set up a 1N270. What you're going to see from this curve tracer is that the DC characteristics in the forward direction of the 1N270 will be better than the DC characteristics of the diode that is made of silicon on this side, which is the 1N3285. To explain a little bit of the setup of the test that you're about to see, I'm using a standard Tektronix curve tracer. On the left hand side, you'll see that we are looking at a standard silicon diode. On the right hand side, we're going to be testing a germanium diode. We're going to be looking at both electrical characteristics in the forward direction. Now I'll flip the switch so that you can see that we're going to be looking at the silicon diode first. The silicon diode electrical characteristics you're going to notice are about 7 tenths of a volt on the curve tracer here. Each gradation represents 100 millivolts. The center line is 500 millivolts. So as you can see you're going off almost to 650 millivolts for your standard silicon diode. Now, compare that against what we're going to see next, which is your germanium diode. I'll now flip the switch so you can see the germanium diode. Again, we're testing the right diode here on the right side of the test fixtures. When you look up at the screen, you'll see that now our forward characteristics have improved significantly. Instead of being at 0.65 volts or 650 millivolts, you see now we're actually closer to 3 tenths of a volt. But the common misconception is that it's 3 tenths of a volt in any, uh, with, with any uh, current that is being used. It is strictly when we assume zero forward current that we get 3 tenths of a volt. This is what makes the germanium diode extremely popular at American Micro Semiconductor. So when you're looking to design in any new rectifying or any type of current rectification, consider germanium diodes as an excellent source for low forge voltage drop across your circuit. Again, you can visit us at store dot American Microsemiconductor dot com for all your germanium diode needs. Thank you.